Here's how you can create a heading in Elementor with differently sized words and keep it perfectly responsive. So you don't need to create different versions of the same heading for different screen sizes. So for your tablet and mobile, for example, you can do it all in one heading. It takes a tiny, tiny bit of CSS, so let's get into it. So first off, add in your heading and then decide which words you want to make smaller or bigger. In my case, it's this. Let's make the word effect smaller. Next up, I'm going to start typing in a span tag. So the way we do that is we use this symbol and then span followed by a space and style equals and then quotation marks. And now I'm going to add in my font size. So the way I do that is I'm going to go font minus size colon. And I'm going to use 50% ended with a semicolon and a quotation mark and another angled bracket. And then I'm going to close the span tag at the end of the word at the end of effect. So I'm going to type in this. And instead of using percent, you can even use EM. So you can set it to 0.5 EM in this case, which is going to be equal to 50%. One EM is going to represent 100%, 0.5 equals 50%. If you want to know everything you need to know about these units to use them like an expert, I have a great video explaining exactly that. The link is in the description. The point is it's going to scale up or down with the font size you set in the heading. So it's fully responsive. If I make the font size smaller or bigger, the word effect always stays half as big because it's set to 50% or 0.5 EM. And it's the same thing if I go into my tablet or my mobile mode and I change the size, it's again 50%. Mobile, same thing. And all of this will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it into your own heading and change out the words and change out the sizes. The other way we can do this is by giving our span a class. So if we give our span a class, so instead of style equals, we're going to go class equals. And then this is where we put in our class. In this case, it's heading minus size minus change. And, and then you just target that class like you would any other class. You can go into advanced custom CSS, target the class and give it a font size. Or you can go into your admin bar, customize additional CSS and do it in here. So the first one has this style inside the span tag and it's set to 0.5 EM. So effectively 50% and the second one has a class and that class has the font size set to 30%. And this also works with text editors. I have a text editor over here, but when you are in your text editor under content, you have to go under text, not visual text. And then you can just do it the exact same way as you would a heading. And you can of course combine this with other properties such as font weight to make it bolder or thinner. You can change the style, make it italic for example. You can give it a background color to create a highlight and you can even add in a drop shadow. I'm gonna put an example for all of those down below as well. If this video was helpful, make sure you check out this video next and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.